burial there had the remains of four to five males, which have been studied by Jonathan Musgrave and also by Sir Victorian Field. I speak in uncertainty about the number since bodies and bones were rearranged, clear evidence of corporal and or skeletal manipulation. One man had an extra long bone, uh, another in his twenties received the skull of a forty-year-old. His father, perhaps, and does this count as one person or two? I don't know. As for the women, we do not know where they were put, though they are, in the early days, they are found in the ossuary together with children and neonates. Over a thousand pots and other items fell from the upper floor onto the dead in the chamber, where no objects at all could be said to belong to any specific internment. All the same, even if originally a floor apart, the goods uh, speak to us about the dead, who were presumably members of the Pierrot's elite and honoured to be buried in this centuries old monumental grave. In view of some bronze daggers, goat horns, whether feral or a greeny, and dog's paws, identified by Valacia Isokidu, they could have been hunters, and that is so often an elite sport. More surprisingly, they may also have been involved in producing stone vessels at uh, Neotos, and you see some very nice ones bottom right, perhaps of an elite craftsman skill if some large, roughly shaped, triangular pieces of chloride, each with a tubular drill bowl, had been used as drill guides or for some other purpose in making stone vessels. And Eve Moreira is studying that. 